Hello and welcome. I'm Catherine B from GMIT Libraries and in this short video we're going to concentrate on searching for information using search and find. GMIT Libraries default search for finding books, journal articles, newspaper articles, DVDs, electronic resources and lots more. This is the best starting point when locating information for your assignment or research topic. As Search and Find quickly scans across all the library's print collections and most of our online collections from one search box. In this example, we're searching for the topic climate change. So we start here on the library homepage, library.gmit.ie, and we simply enter climate change into the search box and click search. Notice there are three radio buttons. If you are looking for an exact title of a book or a particular author, you can click on the appropriate radio button. However, if you are doing a general search on a topic, leave the radio button on keyword. A keyword search looks for the words you enter in the search box anywhere in the item record. Here, we are simply looking for information on climate change. We are not looking for any specifics, just what items the library has on climate change change. Once you click search, you will see the results page. Okay, so there are millions of results, but don't be put off. It's easy to narrow down the list of results, making the results more focused. We do this by using the facets on the left hand side of the results page to refine our search results. Or if you want, you can add some more keywords relevant to climate change, maybe something like global warming. Here, I am going to concentrate on the facets. For instance, you might only be interested in material about climate change that has been published within a certain date range. For example, you may only want to view material that has been published in the last five years, so it's current and up to date. So you can enter the dates 2015 to 2020 and then click apply. Now our results will only show material from within this time range. Notice the number of results has reduced significantly. We can further refine our search results by format. For example, you might only be interested in searching for print books. You can easily do this by clicking print books only and apply. On the other hand, if you wanted to search for ebooks only, click ebooks only and all the results would be electronic books. These books can be read online and downloaded. Let's stick to print books only. So now you can see our results have been refined considerably to 17 items. These 17 items are books on climate change published in the last five years. Please note if you have too few results or you want to remove one of the refinements or try something else, simply click on the X next to the refinement you wish to clear to remove that filter or facet. Notice the search results are automatically sorted by relevance, but you can click on the relevance button if you want to change this sort to date. I'm going to leave it on relevance. Search relevance uses an algorithm that measures how closely related an item is to your query or what keywords you typed in. So what next? We are now looking at books that are available in the library. When we say the library, in GMIT, we mean all four campus libraries that we have here in GMIT. For each book, you are shown a location, shelf number and status. The location firstly shows you which campus library the book is in, Galway, Mayo, Seacam or Letterfrack. Then what location within the library. The majority of the books in all campus libraries are on the general shelves, which means you can borrow the books and take them home. Other locations include reference or desk reserve, meaning these books are for reference only and can only be consulted in the library for free. Did you know you can borrow books for free from any of the campus libraries once you are a registered GMIT student? The quickest and easiest way to get your hand on a book is if it's in the campus you are studying in. Normally you take note of the shelf number and make sure the status says available and then head to that area in the library, find the book on the shelf and read it in the library or go to the information desk or self-service kiosk and borrow it. Okay, from the results list, I want to look at the book by Paddy Woodworth. It's number two in the results list. I take down the shelf number or I place a hold 
Okay, there's some other useful things you can do with your results list. So let's say you've got this results list of books and you've put a couple of requests on them, but you want to keep the full list to look at later. What you can do is you can share the whole page of results or you can share individual books within your list of results. If you want to share the whole list, simply click share from the results list to share the whole list to your personal folder. Caution, make sure you are logged in by clicking on on log in on the top toolbar or you can highlight the link for the list of results and email it to yourself. If you just want to share the details of an individual book, click on the title of the book and add it to the folder or email it to yourself. The other great thing you can do here is get the citation for a book. If you are using a book from the library for your next assignment, as remember, you have to add all books you use to your reference list. You can quickly get a citation from any book in the library by clicking on Cite. When the pop-up box appears, just scroll down until you see the citation format you require. In this case, I'm going to choose Harvard and using your browser's copy and paste function, highlight the full citation, copy it and paste it into your assignment. When you've copied and pasted the citation, simply click on the X in the right hand of the citation pop-up box to return to the book details or click on results list to go back to your list of results. A tip, if you are not on campus, limit your search results to full text. Then all the items in your results will be available to read online remotely from your own device. Happy searching! You will find our full collection of tutorials at library.gmit.ie. Remember, if you need help or advice, we are here for you. Email us, call us or connect on our social media channels. We also have Library Chat, which is our live chat feature. All details are available on library.gmit.ie. Thank you.